Lake Champlain is an extraordinary natural resource nestled between New York, Vermont, and Quebec. But the lake and its tributaries are being negatively affected by human activities on the land. Lake Champlain Sea Grant works to develop and share science-based information to improve the environment and economy of the Lake Champlain Basin. Lakes are dynamic systems. Throughout the year, Lake Champlain experiences thermal stratification and lake turnover. What happens is occurring below the surface of the water in Lake Champlain from season to season. First, what is lake turnover and thermal stratification? Second, what impact do these events have on aquatic life? In the same way we visualize shifts in the landscape, the same things are happening at the depths of Lake Champlain throughout the course of the year with the changing of the seasons. Lake turnover is exactly what it sounds like. Water moves from the top of the water column to the bottom in a mixing event. What is happening in the lead up to these mixing events? Thermal stratification is the process in which the lake becomes divided into layers based on water temperature and density. As the summer progresses, stratification becomes stronger and will create niche segments throughout the water column. When the lake is stratified, there is going to be warmer water at the surface and colder water at the bottom of the lake. What you are seeing right now is a visualization of how the lake temperature shifts throughout the year based on physical effects in the atmosphere above, like temperature changes and winds. Lake Champlain turns over twice a year, once in the spring and once in the fall. The lake begins to cool in the early fall, taking cues from decreasing air temperatures. This cooling process shifts the density of the water and denser water is heavier, sinking to the bottom of the water column. When it does this, it actually forces the warmer water to the surface. This cooling process sparks one of the annual lake turnover events in Lake Champlain. What impact does this have on the aquatic organisms that live in Lake Champlain? Lake turnover is an important phenomenon because it allows for the redistribution of oxygen and nutrient-rich surface waters to the deeper waters of the lake. In the fall, wind moves highly oxygenated surface water to the bottom of the water column. This is incredibly important because once the lake freezes over, it eliminates the opportunity for atmospheric oxygen to be mixed into the water column. Why doesn't the lake continue to turn over throughout the winter as the temperatures decrease further? In the winter, ice forms when the lake's surface temperature reaches 32 degrees Fahrenheit. Ice, as we know from ice floating in a glass of water, is lighter and less dense than the water itself. The ice acts as a barrier, preventing the lake from mixing. In addition, it also limits the lake's ability to exchange atmospheric oxygen. As air temperatures rise in the spring and the ice thaws, the surface of the lake warms, pushing down the colder water, which is denser. This is the second mixing event. Lake Champlain is a natural treasure. We all have a part to play in protecting it and the waters that drain to it, now and into the future. This video was produced by Lake Champlain Sea Grant, a partnership among the University of Vermont, SUNY Plattsburgh, and the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration. To learn more about Lake Champlain Sea Grant and to see other videos in this series, please visit our website.